Okay, this video is Hank Williams Sr., Christian music hero, and I'm going to combine a little bit real quick, show you some paintings, and I'll show you his best songs. And Hank was great. I mean, he was a little bit crazy, like a lot of geniuses are, but he's, you know, he was drinking, he took pain meds, and he died at a young age. It's real sad. But he was an idiot savant genius for writing songs. They're really great. And I'll just show you some paintings that go with his songs, okay? One of his most famous songs ever, Christian songs, was I Saw the Light. And the best version of that is the Road to Damascus painting, you know, the conversion of St. Paul uh, by Caravaggio in 1601. And this painting is magnificent, the way it draws your attention to Paul there, you know, transiently, transiently his eyes were overwhelmed. Um, the horse's butt is pointing towards a painting of Caracci, and there was a little bit of a competition between him and Caravaggio. Uh, so that's part of the joke of it, of course. And, and Paul is aware, whereas the horse and the uh, stable man seem a bit oblivious, but it's a magnificent painting. And in comparison, you can see here's Michelangelo's version of, you know, St. Paul, See the Light. And basically, you know, with a good painting, you should get the main point really fast. And it's almost like it's too complex. Um, so yeah, it's still a great painting, <clears throat> but it's a little bit too complex. And it takes a while looking to figure out what it's all about. And Paul doesn't stand out as much relative to everything else in the background that it's hard to figure it out. It's almost like when you're giving a lecture, a slide that takes too long to figure out. Yeah, it's still great, but this is better. This is one of the greatest paintings of all time. Then there's some songs also about the calling. I hear you calling me and um, something came over me, etc. Um, and so here is the calling of St. Matthew by Christ. And his hand mimics the pattern. He had seen Michelangelo's, the creation of Adam. And the hand looks exactly the same. You see the light coming in to Adam. I'm sorry, to Matthew. And he's like saying, you're calling me? Uh, so that's a great painting. And here is the Doubting Thomas, also by Caravaggio. So all this stuff, this was done in 1601, all done around that time. Um, and he puts his finger in the wound, and now he feels compelled to follow, be a good uh, disciple apostle. Uh, so it's, yeah, beautiful. Caravaggio was a magnificent painter. And, of course, he's a little crazy, too. You're going to see, I spent a long time studying geniuses and great artists and stuff. They're all a little crazy, okay? And here's Van Gogh. He's no exception. There's a couple songs in here, Dust on the Bible by Hank Williams Sr. I would also bring to mind... Um, there's other great ones, too. I'll, I'll, I'm in the process, in the background, of eventually putting all this Christian art and music together. But I just wanted to do with a couple songs to Hank Williams Sr. here. I'm going to get to his list of songs. I'm sorry I'm delaying that, just to show you the paintings first. I'll show you the list in just one sec. Okay, here's The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse by Viktor Mikhailovich Vaznetsov, a Russian artist, in 1887. So the point I'm saying is, back when Russia was a Christian country... They demonstrated tremendous talent, okay? Dostoevsky is one of the greatest writers of all time. Now, ever since they went commie in uh, 1970, you know, the place is a shithole. They don't create, a create anything, and that's my point. You know, once you go down that path, everything goes into the garbage can. So we don't want to go down that path. All right, so anyways, beautiful picture, the pale horse on a pale rider. All right, that's one of the songs here. Okay, now I'll show you the... Um, the songs, all right? The songs here of Hank Williams Sr., they're rated uh, from five out of five being the best. So these are great songs, universally loved and appreciated. Um, and then these are mostly fours, the very good songs. And then over here is like 3.5s and 3s. They're still good, you know, like, and I, I highlighted in yellow the ones that have a painting to go with them. Uh, so anyways, I'll put links to most of these in the description below. I hope you enjoy them. Oh, yeah, one last thing was... Um, there's this comedian named John Zerka, and he jokingly calls himself the last masculine Christian because modern society has been so wimpified, so feminized. And what I'm saying is I think Hank Williams is the perfect example where Christianity goes with a masculine lifestyle, very masculine lifestyle. And basically, where does country music come from? It comes from two places. It comes from singing at church, and it also comes from singing in the bar. Okay, that's sort of the main two places it comes from, and being a cowboy. All right, so, you know, I like the way Hank transitions from singing at the bar to singing at the church. It all fits together. It fits together in my life. And I think for anybody who wants to be creative in any type of artistic or literary way, all this stuff is great. It all I love all this stuff. I think about it all the time when I'm looking for metaphors of other things. So anyways, I hope you enjoy it.